This is Corey Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into the money section of your math prodigies assessment paper number two and let's take make sure you have the question paper next to you because it's going to be very handful okay very handy sorry so now we're going to go take a look at the question question number one says Beverly wants to buy a doll which costs $59.95 wow that's an expensive doll she has $32.50 in her wallet right now so her mother gives her an additional $18. So how much money does she need okay, to buy that doll that she wants? So let's take a look at our handy dandy notebook over here. Okay, So let's draw a Barbie doll. So I'm going to draw a Barbie doll over here. I don't know how it looks like, but I'm just going to write Barbie. <laughs> a Barbie doll. Okay, A Barbie doll. And this thing costs how much? $59.95. At where? Maybe at the... Mm, I don't know where to go. Tampany Small, okay. So now, she has Beverly, Beverly's over here, and Beverly has, ooh, Beverly has $32.50, okay? And then her mother so kindly gave her an additional $18. So this is from the mother. So let's draw mother um, over here. This is Beverly's mother. Beverly's mother is over here and she gave her she gave her an additional eighteen dollars. So she has thirty two fifty. Is that enough to buy a Barbie doll? No, because that is fifty nine ninety five. So we can't do that. So her mother gave her an additional eighteen dollars. Now is it enough? Mm, I'm not too sure. So let's check whether that's enough. So let's add the two numbers together. Let's add this number over here and this number over here to see how much she has in her wallet right now. Okay. So let's type thirty two over fifty. So 3250 $32 plus eighteen dollars is gonna give you how much? It's gonna give you fifty dollars and fifty cents. Now is that enough? Let's take a look at the numbers again. Fifty dollars fifty cents and this is fifty nine ninety five. Hmm. We don't have enough money. We need how much more? Now to find out how much more, all we have to do is take this number, which is fifty nine ninety five minus 50 50 because we don't know how much we have we need so we just take 59.95 minus 50 50 and we will get the answer of what 9.90 no 9.45 nine dollars and 45 cents ah so that means after giving after getting 18 dollars from a mom and after using her own money of 32 50 she still needs an additional nine dollars forty five cents. Um, would you be kind enough to give her that nine forty five? <laughs> okay. So the moral of the story is don't buy Barbie dolls. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the moral of the story is when someone gives you money, right? You add it to your money, and you see whether it's enough. If it's not enough, ask your daddy. <laughs> all right. So it's very simple. In this kind of case, all you have to do is add the numbers together. That means you have to imagine, first of all, how much money does, em uh, does what's her name, Emily? Uh, what's her name again? I can't remember her name. Um, her name was Beverly. Yeah. So how much money does Beverly has in a wallet? So right now, Beverly has thirty-two fifty, and then her mother gives her 18 so she has $50.50 in a wallet. And then after that, what happens is, is she has, does she have enough? No, she doesn't. So we have to minus $59.95, the cost of the Barbie doll, away from... The fifty dollars fifty cents in the wallet, and then we find out that she needs another nine dollars forty five cents. Pretty simple, okay. And one of the things that you always ask me is, Coach Cipher, why is it so easy for you? Why do you find it so easy? It's very simple. It's because I've had um, tons, and I have a lot, a lot, a lot of practice uh, in my life than you have in yours. <laughs> I probably have more practice in the past three years than I than you have in your whole life. Correct. So. The moral story, the quote of the week is actually to have this. The more I practice, the easier it gets. So remember this one thing. The more I practice, the easier it gets. The more I practice, the easier it gets. And hence, from there onwards, you can actually do more. You go and practice more. Practice more questions. Get exposed to more questions. And then you will find that it gets as easy as how I find it. Alright? So with that, this is Coach Seifel signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.